as is our ordinary custom, the riders of the Southern Cruisers from Loudoun County, Virginia met at the Old Roy's in Leesburg for our ride to Penmar. This ride had something for everyone. We rode the highways, the byways, the twists and the turns for an hour, and then arrived at Penmar State Park in Maryland. The State Park provided us a rest stop and a glorious view from the lower elevation. From there, we mounted our bikes and headed out to climb the hill to the top of High Rock. The road was a wonderful curving little ride all the way through the woods. Part of the ride is sharing some time with some friends on your motorcycle. After we arrived at High Rock, all of the riders took a half hour to enjoy the wonderful sights at the top of Penmar. These are some of the scenes at the top of High Rock. This is the panorama that one sees when standing on top High Rock. We mounted our bikes, said goodbye to High Rock, and headed back down the hill to enjoy some lunch at the cozy restaurant. Cozy Restaurant has been visited by many presidents on their way to Camp David. All through the day as we rode in Maryland, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Virginia, we passed country farms. After lunch at the cozy restaurant, we said farewell to the Presidential Historical Restaurant and made our way through Catoctin Farms over to Boonesboro, Maryland, and then headed south to Antietam Battlefield in Sharpsburg, Maryland. Thirty minutes south of Boonesboro, Maryland, we turned into Antietam Battlefield. Antietam Battlefield is the site of the bloodiest battle in American history. Over 5,000 fatalities were incurred by both North and South. The battle for Burnside's Bridge, pictured here, was the turning point in the war between the North and the South at Antietam. Our hour-long tour of Antietam Battlefield ended with a quick ride past Antietam Creek, a ride through Boonesboro once again, and back into Loudoun County. 